This is my tiny bathroom. It's 1.8 meters long, five foot 10 inches by 0 0.86 meters wide. Two foot 10 inches. It's not very big, but I'd like to custom paint this tiny bathroom to turn it into a work of art. How am I gonna fit this camera in here? <laughs> oh man, this is gonna take up all my space. This is gonna be crowded. Maybe I can film through the bathroom window. Come on. <laughs> oh, you can't see anything. Not the best angle in the world. Well, hello there, Mr. Peeping Tom. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna work. All right, well, filming difficulties aside, I'm gonna try and custom paint a little tiny mural in this little tiny bathroom. And the first thing I gotta do is start getting some of this stuff out of here. Like this picture by my friend Claude. Honestly, there's not that much more than this in here. Then I was just gonna freestyle this and just kind of go for it, but things are always better when I just do a little bit of planning. So I might take some pictures of these walls. If I can get far enough back from them to actually take pictures of the walls, that might be a challenge. Then I'm gonna sketch just a little bit and see if I can come up with a cool idea. iPad, procreate, new document. First things first, I wanted to digitally paint these walls yellow. So I painstakingly traced around them and filled them in with this nice yellow color. Then I set my layer to multiply. Then I started sketching out a character, but pretty quickly I decided this wasn't the vibe I wanted. So I hid those layers and I had a new idea, but I needed to find a small box to try it out. Here's one. Then I tried to shoot a reference photo of my hand holding the box. This was a bit tricky, but I think I got it. Then I brought the photo into Procreate and started half tracing it, but also augmenting it as I was tracing. I made the fingers longer and sharpened the angles to give it some more style. Then I started working on these energy wave thingies. I wanted to have them wrap around the whole bathroom. Alright, here's my concept art. Honestly, I didn't even finish it because it's not for a client or anything and I have enough here to know what I'm doing in my head. This energy stuff is gonna flow onto the ceiling and around the room and hopefully it'll be cool. But uh, let's go get some paint. Let's go get some paint. Hmm, we got some yellows. Extreme yellow. That is yellow. This is my yellow. Chelsea has approved. It's like the color of this thing. It's like the color of your bag. It's like the color of my shirt. We like yellow. Boom, baby. Can I get this in satin? Cool, thank you. Can I get a couple mixing sticks too? I thought I was gonna do this just very freestyle and a little bit half-assed, but now I'm excited about my concept and I wanna pick out some new light fixtures, towel hangers, toilet paper holders, and really do it upright. So we're gonna look at those. Yeah, this one and this one I think are nice. Now let's go look at some new light fixtures. That's exciting. Are these them? I guess there's some here. Nothing was really jumping out to me at Home Depot, so I'm gonna look for lights later. That's like chandeliers. Let's just get a big chandelier in there. So not only is it a tiny bathroom, but we have to like duck every time we go in. Thank you for shopping at the Home Depot. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Before I get started painting, I gotta remove all this random stuff attached to the walls, like this mirror, receptacle covers, towel holder, screws, and hanging hardware. I wanna unhook this sink, but I have no idea what I'm doing. Time to watch some YouTube tutorials. When I first climbed under here and looked at all this stuff, I was intimidated. I almost said, screw it, I'm just gonna wait until one of my more manly friends can help me out or something. Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing, so I think I'm gonna wait for either Ty or Nick to help me out. But I watched a couple more tutorials, worked up my courage, and went for it. This is so hard, because there's no room in here. Many of you are probably calling me an idiot right now. I did it! But for me, it's a proud moment. I did it. Oh yes, it can fit through the door, thank goodness. This is gonna be a game changer. Next step, tape.
Oh my goodness, the prep work is finally done. That was a lot of taping. So now it's time to paint this bathroom a very vivid yellow. <laughs> I have enough distance to use my projector. What the frick? I didn't break my blinds. Um, <laughs> meanwhile, this projector seems to be somewhat big enough. Last time I couldn't get far enough back for my projector, you guys told me in the comments to turn it sideways. I was like, oh, why didn't I think of that before? I'm so stupid. I think that'll totally work for the hands. Well, now I know the hat. My hand is up there. Now I'm just gonna freehand all these energy waves all around here because I definitely don't need to project those. Just gonna use a white Posca paint marker and draw some energy waves all over this place. With my trusty white Posca paint marker in hand, I got to just vibe out and draw these long curvy lines. This part of the process was actually very chill and I kind of just got to go with the flow and have these things twist and turn all around these walls. While I finish up painting all these white energy waves, I'm gonna let you know that this video is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is a website where you can build a website. Okay, my sketch is up there. Now I'm gonna start filling all this stuff in with pure white. They have amazing templates where all you gotta do is drop your awesome content into their beautiful templates and boom, you got a website. I personally love their e-commerce, email campaigns, SEO, and the list goes on and on. You no longer need to be an HTML genius to build a beautiful website. Plus Squarespace has 24 seven customer support if you run into any issues. So what are you waiting for? Head to squarespace.com to start your free trial. And then when you're ready to launch your site, go to squarespace.com forward slash 10 hundred for 10% off the first purchase of a website or domain. All right, after three coats of yellow, three coats of white, my paint job is up there. You guys didn't see any of those extra coats because why make you watch the same process three times? But with all my flat paint up on the wall, it's time for some black lines. This is always the part I look forward to the most. This part of the process was actually a bit more tricky than I was expecting. I'm trying to go for the smoothest lines possible here. And these walls look very smooth. But when you look at them super duper close, there's bits of like micro debris in there. I'm not sure if it's the fuzz from the roller that I was using, bits of dirt, bits of hair, all of the above, but they're basically little speed bumps for clean lines. And then don't even get me started on the corners. Eventually I figured out to stop before I hit the corners and then use a tiny Posca to just fill in the gaps very meticulously. Okay, I got all my outer lines up. Now I can do all the detail lines inside these energy waves. I was gonna paint on the ceiling, but there is stucco texture all over these. And I think no matter how hard I try, it's just gonna look janky no matter what. 86 the ceiling painting, but let's finish these walls. I switched to a brand new fresh Posca. Because I had a crisp new nib, my inside lines would be a little bit more skinny than my outside lines. I just kind of zoned out and started drawing line after line after line. It kind of had me wishing there was somehow a real life version of the smoothing feature in Adobe Fresco. I wish I could just crank up that slider and make my lines ultra, ultra clean. Then finally I just cleaned up a few drips Paint job's done. Yes, my lines are up. The artwork is done. I just need to take the tape off of here, put back up my fixtures and receptacle covers and lights and sink and uh, call this bathroom done. So let's get this thing cleaned up and back to its normal bathroom state.
Hey, I'm using that to film. <laughs> That's my camera. I'm at Lowe's, seeing if I can get a light fixture. Let's go check it out. Now this one is not on display, but I think it looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna go with this. I need to get some Edison bulbs. Let's go, baby. Got what we needed. Once all the tape was down, the bathroom really looked a lot cleaner. Now I just need to hang up my new hardware. I gotta install this light fixture, which is one thing I do actually know how to do. But the nerve wracking part is always putting in that first bulb to see if you actually wired it up correctly. Yes! Oh man, these bulbs are too big. Back at the store, I think these are gonna be a little smaller so they'll actually fit. That glass bulb is touching that mirror and it won't sit very well. So I wonder if I should bring the sink in here and see how much clearance I have so maybe I can lower this mirror down a bit. Oh yeah, I got room to lower it down. After I lowered the mirror down three inches, I didn't want to remove the screws that were there because I was afraid it would mess up my paint job. So I just painted it white, and the lights are gonna cover those screws anyway, so who cares? Oh yeah! Then I installed my toilet paper holder, and with that, we're good to go. Hey. Peter from the future. I've been editing this video as I go along. The video is pretty much completely done. As I look back at this footage, at this freaking hand, this finger is not right. It's driving me crazy. So I gotta fix it. So I think right here is maybe like an extra knuckle, like bop, 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 might be too many. Also, if you look at the thumb and you look at the index finger, like I don't think they should be the same width. I think they should be skinnier. Yeah, just it's just janky. So I'm gonna attempt to fix it. First, I sketched out the new finger shape I wanted with the Posca. It already looks better. Then I blow dried it to make sure my Posca was not wet. Then I started covering the bad parts with the yellow paint. But that's when I discovered something terrible. Oh, awesome. The Poscas get nice and runny when you put paint on top of them. Sweet. More blow drying. This is coat number two trying to cover the black. This is coat number three trying to cover the black. This is coat number four. This is coat number five. This is coat number six. This is coat number seven. Oh no, wait, I didn't do a seventh coat. This is me adding the Posca line art again to finally fix the finger. Yes, there we go. I think that's uh, much improved. I already shot the rest of the video and even the final sexy shots are all done. So for the rest of the video, it's gonna go back to the janky hand and even the final sexy shots are gonna feature the janky hand. I'm too lazy to redo everything, but I know and you know that I fixed that freaking finger. Okay, let's get back to the regular video. Okay, a lot of the little bells and whistles and knickknacks and doodads are all up. One thing I gotta do, uh, I can't figure out how to make this thing work. I forgot how that hooked up when I took it apart. So my drain is like permanently stuck closed. I'll watch some more tutorials and figure that out later. Also, at some point I wanna change these to black cause everything else, all the other accessories are black, but that's a later project. But I did figure out how to get the water going again. Major victory. See? It can't drain. Anyway, hot diggity damn, the bathroom is done and it looks super cool. Some of you may fall into the camp of how could you paint your bathroom that color? I could never sit there in a vivid yellow room and feel comfortable. Others of you might think it's one of the coolest bathrooms ever. Let me know down in the comments which camp you fall into. The last thing to do is show you guys the final sexy shots of the bathroom. But first I just wanna say subscribe to my YouTube channel, please. It helps me out a lot. It costs you nothing. It's that little subscribe button right down there. Go ahead and click it if you would be so kind. I'm trying to get to 800,000 subscribers by New Year's. It's a lot goal, but with your help, we might be able to get there. My wife Chelsea really likes the bathroom. My daughter Juniper really likes the bathroom. The question is, do you like the bathroom? And without further ado, the final sexy shot.